So that's Rocco. That's the black dog. That's my dog, Remy. There's Bella, who was just laying down. This dog cannot sit still. He just will not lay down and chill. We're gonna teach him how to do that. She was there, and the next, she was gone. The All right, gonna do a quick little video on focus training and uh, giving commands, marking, and timing, all kind of bundled up together here. Um, this is Rocco. He's my buddy's dog. I'm dog sitting for uh, I don't know, four or five days. He's a um, pretty nervous, anxious dog. Super sweet dog. Um, just has a hard time settling down and, and chilling out. And um, he doesn't. He doesn't. I'm not relevant to this dog. Um, his owner. He's way more attached to his owner, obviously. So this is a good opportunity to try to be uh, make a video with a dog that has never done any of this stuff and um, um, wants really nothing to do with me. So. The, he should resist a lot of this stuff. So, um, the first thing is, is, you know, when I work with most people and their dogs, the first thing I notice all the time is that um, when they say their dog's name, it doesn't look at them. It's not, the, the, the owner is not relevant to the dog. So, becoming relevant to your dog is super important for everything that you do with it every day and, and any kind of training you're doing with it. You want them to pay attention to you. And not only when you have treats, too. So, um, first thing I always work on with owners is, the, this little focus drill here to get the dog to look at you, make eye contact, and not only is that, um, not, it's not just the focus training, it's, it's learning how to mark the behavior and reward it and having the timing be perfect every time. This drill is, or whatever, exercise, whatever you want to call it, um, it is the same, it's the same thing for everything you do with your dog. So just, just repeat this formula with everything, whether you're teaching the dog to sit or down, um, when you're doing your recall training, it's all about the timing and just this formula. Um, give the command, mark the mark the behavior, and, and praise and reward with treat or praise or whatever. So. Troy did a ton of videos on this, breaking this down way more um, elaborate, super, super baby steps. So don't rush this stuff. But um, the, the, the way this works is you get some treats, kibble, whatever you want to use. And what you want to do is get the dog to make eye contact with you. Um, so the first thing I do is I put the treat in my hand. And the dog knows I have the treat. And I'm going to say his name. And, and I'm not, he, has the, he, he has the choice to focus on my hand or he can make eye contact with me. The second he makes eye contact with me, he's going to hear the word yes. And he's, he's going to get the reward. That's my mark reward. So... If any of you do clicker training, um, it's just for the for the, re the command and the and the marker and the reward. You would give the command. So whatever the command is right now, it's just going to be his name. The second, the the second his eyes glance to my eyes, I'm going to mark that with a yes. That would be where you would use your clicker, click click, and he's going to start associating yes with a treat. Every time he hears yes, treat. And it's going to make me way more relevant. And then we're going to start to add duration to it and, and have them hold that stare a little bit. But none of this stuff can, you can't rush any of this stuff. you got to go slow with all of it and go in baby steps. So um, this is how it's going to work. I'm going to say his name, Rocco. Yes, good boy. He looked right at me. So that's perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So if I wanted him to focus on my hand like this, because he knows the treat's in here, so he, he usually gets focused on the treats. Not usually, it's the first time he's done it, but he's very food driven. So, Rocco, yes, good boy. He just glanced at me. That's all I wanted. Rocco, yes, good boy. 
So some people just start off by saying yes and giving treats, yes and giving treats. That's how you kind of break down this exercise to even slower where the dog starts to associate every time he has a word yes, something good follows up with it. So I'm kind of going a little bit quicker so you get it, but I just want you to understand the, the, the timing, the second he says it, mark it. That would be the clicker, but I'm not using a clicker because I don't have clickers on me, so I use yes for the, the, the marking word. So, ready? Rocco, yes, good boy. And if he starts to default and look at you right away, mark that stuff. Rocco, yes, good boy. All right. You can do that all day long, just in your house, walking about throughout your house. Every time you say your dog's name, if it looks at you, say yes and go over and praise it, or just say good boy, good girl, whatever. Just let them know that that was the behavior. That is the that's the that's the formula right there. No matter what you're teaching, but your timing has to be perfect. <clears throat> so now I'm going to introduce the word good into it, where that's where I want him to hold that stare a little bit longer. So. Rocco, good, good, yes, good boy. I'm only going for a couple of seconds here. You can't ask them to do it for a long time. They're not going to do it right off the bat. Rocco, good, good, yes, good boy. His eyes are kind of going back and forth right there. I want him to lock on to me. But again, this is the first time he's done this. So, he knows the treats in the hand. Rocco, yes, good boy. Rocco, yes, good boy. So, the idea is that over time, every time you call your dog's name, and hopefully, you know, it doesn't come down in an emergency situation, you call your dog's name, it stops and it looks at you because you've done stuff like this with it. And this is just the introduction to it. But you can do this every single, every day, ten times a day, not sitting down with treats, but just saying your dog's name and have it looking at you. That's a training opportunity right there. Take advantage of that. Rocco, good, good. Yes, good boy, good boy. He's such a good boy. He's doing this really well. The other thing that helps is he's petrified of this wood floor, so he's staying right on this uh, dog mat. Rocco, good, good. Yes, good boy. So he's holding it pretty good. So that's just a basic thing you can do with your dog to start the foundation for all of your training. Just get some, like I said, get some treats, sit down, just do this exercise with them a few times a day for a couple of days and start working that into your daily stuff. And that is the formula for everything you teach your dog. Command, mark it the second they do it. You got a small window. If you wait too long, they don't understand. They're super fast learners. And if you don't, if you don't mix that up, they will be, it's crystal clear what you're saying. Command, mark, reward. And you can add, you can, you, I don't care what words you use, those are the words I use, pick anything, but don't, don't deviate from that. You have to be consistent with that every time. Command, Rocco, good, good. Uh, yes, good boy. Rocco, 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 yes, good boy. That's it. I hope that helps somebody a little bit, but start there.